Every once in a while you get one of those epic days that just, it's like Christmas morning, you know, and, and a couple years ago, it was 4th of July weekend, and, uh, you know, I had not planned to fish. It, it was a busy weekend, there's there people all over, the, the river had been fishing good, so there was a lot of pressure, and I just, I just decided I wasn't going to go out, it just, and it had been windy, it was hot and windy, and so it just wasn't great fishing conditions. And, it was about three o'clock in the afternoon and I had a couple hours to kill before some friends came over and uh, you know, I got cabin fever and I, and I just I had to get out. So I got in the truck. I wasn't even planning to fish. I was just going to go for a drive, you know, and see, just go look at the river. And uh, I drive down to one of my favorite spots. In fact, this spot we're parked at right here. And uh, you know, there's nobody here. And I'm coming in and everybody's leaving. Well, it, it had been so windy, it drove all the anglers off. And I pull into one of my favorite spots and I walk to the bank and here's three, four, five fish within 100 yards, all working. And within an hour and a half, I hook and land three big fish and it was just like Christmas morning. My name's Philip Chavez. I'm the production planner and scheduler for Rio products. At Rio, you know, we recognize that, the, you know, we make fishing line for a living. And um, so, you know, we, don't, we try not to take ourselves too seriously, but we take what we do too real seriously. I think one of the reasons that, that Rio has been successful is because from day one, they, they listened to what anglers needed. And so there's always been a, a strong motivation to develop product that served the needs of the angler, whether it was through taper design or materials or quality or um, meeting production needs, having the right line at the right time, and, you know, in, in the stores for the dealers. Um, and I think the combination of that, of, of all of those things, is, are what make Rio successful and is what's made Rio the number one company today. And this year, um, I started fishing the Single Hands Bay and, and it's, it's really taken off. It's turned into a phenomenal casting line and, and it's really gotten a lot of popularity and recognition as a great casting line. And, and I really like it here today. It's, it's got a long taper in it. It really helps turn over and helps with presentation, but it's got a nice body to it, nice, nice weight in the body, so that helps in the wind. And you know, today on Henry's Fork, we got both. You, you got selective fish and you got wind. And so uh, it's a great, great line for that condition. You know, from day one that I got into fly fishing, uh, you know, hanging out at, at the local fly shop, uh, you know, Henry's Fork was the mecca. Henry's Fork was where everybody went. Um, the owners of the store ran fly fishing school up here. They took trips up here. They took people fishing up here. And you know, from day one, uh, it was it was like it's the Super Bowl of trout streams. It's mecca. And, and you know, today there's there's a lot of really good quality trout streams, but the lure of the of the Henry's Fork is still pretty special. I know people come from all over the world to come here and fish and uh, you know today I, I get to call it my home waters. <laughs> <laughs>